Uh, it's, it's been outstanding. I think, obviously, uh, is it four or five days in a row with homers? Um, he's been obviously been able to drive the ball out of the ballpark. He, he's uh, been able to get two pitches that he can handle. Um, I know in his last at bat, they brought in uh, the Castro in the middle of the at bat, but he's been, uh, you know, just trying to stay in a particular zone, and, and we're glad that he's able to do what he's been doing. Obviously, uh, it's something that the whole, whole organization uh, has been hoping that he'd be capable of doing, and so he's showing signs that he, obviously he can do it. How much is the confidence in, uh, in him and just allowing him to go out there and, and relax? you think have to do with his success? I'm, I'm sure yeah, all, all players, when they feel like they're going to be in there, you know, consistently feel a little bit more comfortable. I don't think that every player has the luxury of, you know, having that happen. And so you have to uh, be able to adjust and deal with if you're playing part time or what have you, um, still be able to go out there and, and put a, a good at bat together. And, and even those guys end up having decent results. but. I certainly can't discount the fact that you know we're putting them in there every single day and, and giving them an opportunity to have three or four at bats a day. That that, that that's not helping. It, it certainly is, and he's taking advantage of it. Kevin Smith said after watching you go out there in the fifth and get so passionate, uh, it kind of put a spark into the guys and was a momentum changer. Uh, how important is it for you to for your guys to know that you have their back in any circumstance? You know I. <clears throat> I'm, I hope that they know that <laughs> I don't have to get tossed to, to have them understand that I that I appreciate everything they do. They, you know, they're the ones. You know, I think in those moments right there, they're the ones that are playing the game, obviously. And I think that, you know, I all I I think all I try to reiterate is just simply we need to be more patient. You know, because the players are the ones that are experiencing the moments, and. Um, you know, when they react, you have to allow a player to react. Those, you know, they're experiencing those those situations, and um, you know, from the outside, we have to be a little bit more patient. That's all. And uh, I didn't think he did anything. I mean, I, I'm sure I'll hear about it. I don't, I don't think he did anything too egregious. I'm sure, you know, he would disagree with me. But you know, they have a tough job to do. Again, I say, with all due respect to all of them, they have a very difficult job to do, and they don't want people showing them up. And I get all that. But I think uh, I, I sit back and, and, under, and try to think about all the things that players are experiencing and the pressure that they're under to perform and, um, you know, want to keep those guys in the ballgame. What did he do? Because uh, he's not a guy that gets ejected a lot, Javi. I guess, he, you know, whatever physical uh, reaction he gave him uh, didn't sit well, and so he ejected him. Um, you know, and again, I get it. You know, you don't want you don't want the fans to be on umpires. You, you know, they they have a tough enough job, and and that's not the intent. You know, to to embarrass an umpire or to discredit him. I, I I just think that you know players feel passionate about what they're doing, and sometimes when things do go well, they express themselves, and it's uh, something that I think we have to have a little thicker skin with. That's all. Holmberg kept us in the game. I thought, you know, he gave us what he was going to give us. I know we went to the to the pin early. Um, you know, we just felt that at that particular moment, you know, it was a key situation for us to try to stifle a little bit of what was developing. We can't do it every day. I know people would like us to do it every single day. I know, um, but today was one of those days where we had pretty much everybody available to be able to do what we needed to do and. Uh, I thought he did a very nice job of keeping us in the game uh, with a very good lineup. With Shields coming back in the rotation, what's the plan for David? Well, we still have to figure out what uh, what move we're going to make. We still have a couple of days or, or a day and a half or whatever it is. We'll figure out what we do. Um, at that point, we'll have to discuss it and, and get to that. <clears throat>